It's not even about taking fancy planes. It's not about staying in ritzy hotels. And it's certainly not about accepting one job because a bigger job isn't available. Politics is about getting things done for Albertans. That's Alberta's Minister of Infrastructure, Rick McIver, who just stepped down from Cabinet to run for the leader of the PC party and therefore for Premier of Alberta. His comments about ritzy hotels and private planes are clearly a shot at former Premier Alison Redford with her princess and the PE taste and luxury on the public time. But he also took a shot at Jim Prentice, the former federal cabinet minister now living in Toronto as a banker, who's widely expected to run for the leadership of the federal conservatives, but is now talking about slumming it in Alberta. Rick McIver joins us with more from Calgary. Mr. McIver, welcome to the show. I, very bold comments, clearly distancing yourself from Alison Redford. How do you separate yourself from the excesses of her administration, given that you were part of her cabinet? Well, Ezra, it's, uh, it's like this. Uh, actually, if you want to talk about excesses, uh, anybody, any of your uh, watchers can uh, go online and look at my expenses, and uh, it would be a great way to put themselves at sleep at, to sleep at night because there's nothing exciting in there. Uh, so, but the thing is, what I think I realize is what Albertans are looking for is some strong leadership uh, on some controls. On, on, and they want some confidence that uh, money is going to be spent for their benefit. And uh, that's why I announced some of the uh, things that I did uh, with my, uh, you know, an announcement that I'm uh, going to run. Uh, things like the fact that the, uh, you know, the chief of staff won't make more than the premier. And no, not by raising the premier's salary, but rather by making sure that the, by setting an example in the premier's office, that those wages are in line with what the public would expect is reasonable for, uh, for an important job. Uh, for things like the fact that people lobbying government won't be eligible for government contracts. I, I, you know, if people advise government on Monday on how to buy something or how to do a certain process, uh, potentially they could come back later uh, as part of the group that's actually trying to gather that money up and do that work. And, uh, and I think that uh, we need to separate those things so the public knows when the government's doing business, the government's doing business in ordinary Albertans' best interest. Now, you have not been a part of this uh, provincial government for long. I think you've just been there for one term. Before that, you were an alderman. You'll, you'll, you'll love this. Two years less a day. Yeah, there you go. Uh, before that, you were an alderman in Calgary, and you were well known as, as the fiscal conservative. But still, I know that your Wild Rose critics will say, how can you, Rick McIver, today talk about being a fiscal conservative when you voted for... Alison Redford's big spending budgets, and when you stood there as part of her, not just caucus, but cabinet, with her excesses, what would you say for a, a wild rose, Nick, who's going to say, yeah, you're a conservative today, where you've been the past two years? Well, I would say to you, I'm a whole lot more concerned about what ordinary Albertans think, because those are the ones that, uh, that are, are my boss and will be the boss of the, any government that I lead. And uh, ordinary Albertans will say they want things done in their best interest. I was also a part of that government that did things that ordinary Albertans wanted. You know, Ezra, with 100,000 people coming per year, uh, if we don't build those schools, uh, those roads, those hospitals, uh, people will stop coming. Mm -hmm. I, I can tell you what will kill Alberta is when somebody says, yes, please come to my company and be my vice president, be my lawyer, be my accountant, and it'll only take three years to get your kids in school. Mm -hmm. that, I, that I won't let happen. Those, those people that you're talking about that would complain uh, have a program where those things wouldn't happen. So uh, uh, I'm in favor of making sure that uh, we keep Alberta's economy strong. Uh, you know, the, the cart of the economy or the horse of the economy uh, pulls the cart of the services provided and uh, the economy has to be supported. I got one last question for you and it's about Jim Prentice. I think you were taking a bit of an oblique shot at him. Fair deal. He's a politician. I think he's about to be. Jim Prentice used to be regarded as sort of a red Tory in the... Uh, Stephen Harper cabinet, I think he would be to the right of the center of gravity of the provincial PCs now. Tell me how you're going to take on Jim Prentice, because he's got big name recognition. He's got the gravitas of having been a Stephen Harper cabinet minister. He's been a fancy banker for a number of years, so he's got a certain cachet. I bet he's got bigger name recognition across the whole province than you, and clearly he's not going to have problem raising money. How do you take him on? Do you play up the fact he's been out of the province for a long time, that he's, that he's a fancy pants. How are you going to take on Jim Prentice? Well, I think you just did that. But uh, for me, I'm going to talk about what I have to offer. And uh, I don't think there's too many people that will call me fancy. Uh, I'm a very uh, ordinary Albertan. Uh, I live like an ordinary Albertan. And, and I think uh, because of that, I'm in touch with what's important to ordinary Albertans. 
And uh, that's why I talked about those things uh, at the opening, about the fact that, for example, uh, people are, ordinary Albertans are concerned about insiders. And uh, one of the promises I make is the senior part of my campaign team will not be eligible for any government contracts. See, those are the type of things that Albertans want to see. I think that's the, if you want, what I'm saying to Albertans is, if you want real change, actually support somebody that's offering real change. And, and that's what I'm doing, because uh, the same old, same old uh, is not uh, going to work. I'm not married to the past. I'm, I'm married to the best interests of Albertans. And uh, that's what I have to offer. And uh, other people can offer what they want, but uh, I, I'm going to speak for myself, not for uh, other people that may or may not enter the contest. Rick McIver, it's nice to have you on the show. I hope we can have you back on again if Jim Prentice does enter the ring and others. It'll be interesting to, to watch. I uh, hope to talk to you again soon. Ezra, I really appreciate the opportunity, and I'll uh, take you up on that offer. Right on. Thanks, Fred.